Good evening, everybody, and welcome to TNT Nerds, uh, where five friends across, spread across time and space, otherwise known as the European time zones, come together to play Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, I'd just like to have a few announcements uh, at the beginning. We are to celebrate our one year anniversary. We have uploaded all our episodes to podcast streaming services. Pause for applause. Yay! Woo! We're currently available on uh, Amazon Music, Audible, Spotify, Anchor, uh, CastBox, and Stitcher. Uh, with Google Podcasts coming very soon. Uh, so if you want to catch up with the Skull and Shackles uh, campaign so far, and you don't want to sit in front of your computer screen watching YouTube, then you can do it on your mobile device. Isn't that lovely? Yay. It what is. Technology. It's wonderful. It is so, pretty great. It's pretty great, isn't it? It's cool. It was, uh, it, was, it, was quite, it was quite simple as well. I was quite surprised. Um, so yeah, so um, yeah, welcome to TNT Nerds, and uh, don't forget to follow us on all the socials, uh, the, the 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 Twitter and the Facebook and the Instagram, uh, and more most importantly, the Twitch, where we are currently live now. I've just started to realise I'm rambling slightly. I do apologise. I'm very <laughs> ill. Um, so I believe those are all the announcements. Did I get everything? I think so. I think so. Yeah, cool. Right, in that case, um, let's begin. Last time on Thursday Night Therapy, as our heroes looked over the treetops and watched the dragon retreat and then descend into the forest ahead, a stranger suddenly appeared from the brush. The hooded man from the tavern the previous night. A hunter of sorts, it would seem, also looking for the reward for one slain dragon. His name? Dark Wolf the Shadow Hunter. Our heroes took an instant dislike to this fellow for some reason, and as Des stepped forward to pull down the stranger's hood, it was interpreted as an attack, and Dark Wolf let loose an arrow, and with that, battle commenced. Heavily outnumbered, though, he stood little chance, and soon the party had him bound and manacled. They learned his real name, Copeland, and also that this stranger was not quite what he was making out to be. They inevitably deemed him harmless and let him loose, free to go and find the dragon if he so wished. The party slept for the night and the following morning set out further south as instructed by the Huntmaster back at Little Opara. Trekking upwards for at least an hour, Devi eventually spotted a figure which turned out to be just an old statue. It did, however, mark the entrance to a cave. The party entered and explored, finding some old bones, mysterious writing over a closed door, an obelisk depicting acts of torture, and one very large spider. But the main course was found after climbing a small ridge at the end of a twisting tunnel. They found the now semi-dissolved Dark Wolf. And, sleeping, sprawled out and half bathed in a pool of light spilling from an opening in this cavern ceiling was the dragon they quickly decided to send torn zombies in first as a meat shield behind which they could launch their attack but shambling and awkward they stumbled down the steps marking the entrance to the cavern waking the sleeping dragon it reared its head and with surprising speed its black, its black glass-like skin glinting in the light, dripping droplets of moisture and saliva from its mouth. 
it opened and roared. And that's where we're going to pick up this week. Oh, yeah. fuck. We're all going to die! <laughs> we might. And I'm going to ask you immediately to roll initiative. Woot. Well, shitballs. And I was smart enough to clear the list this week and pre-roll the Dragon's Initiative, so... Yeah. Nice. Oh, Ray! Well, I've got a natural 20. No, oh, got... you... I got a 9. There's always one. I finally got above That's 10. all right. Zombies go on your turn, don't they, Nate? They do! Yeah. Nice. So, um... I, oh, I'm going to turn down the music a little bit. Is it loud for everyone or just for me? It is a oh, wee bit well. loud. It's actually clipping at our end a wee bit. That's better. I'll turn it down. Okay. So if you uh, if you had music um, from the uh, the recently released album I Want to Punch a Dragon, then you wouldn't have had that kind of problem with clipping because it's been wonderfully produced. Available That's true. On, uh, don't try for yourself. Bandcamp.com. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Link will be in the description, I guess. I feel I feel, I feel <laughs> dirty. It always is. I'm going to turn that down a bit so it's not too intrusive. Okay. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Are you guys ready uh, no, to fight let's do it. a dragon? <laughs> I'll be able to have the rest of the room revealed. Well... We are half clipped, or is there a reason for this? I don't think that's fair. If, if our characters can't Well, technically, see that. You, yeah, you're around the corner. Well, I'll reveal it as you go. Fair enough. Well, if I may... Well, Torin, uh, it's it's your turn first, so... Uh, the zombies have their orders, which is... Go in. Uh, so I'm going to allow, allow them to continue walking. Uh, as far as they get, which is... Uh, 20 feet of movement? 20 feet of movement, but they will use their actions to dash. Okay. So, all of my four, I'd like to... Uh, Get as far down the steps as possible. So you can move them yourself, can't you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Oh, you're blind. Uh, you're gonna walk straight forward and fall off the ledge. <laughs> he went one too far. I uh, <laughs> thought I had a diagonal that I was able to do. That's ah, fine. Oh, yeah, um, okay, fine. One, uh, two, three, he will four, walk five, off six, and... Seven. Yeah, you're right, you're right. You know, I, I was thinking about this again, because you can technically raise skeletons also. I can. And I'm assuming they don't have eyes. Yes. No, skeletons don't have eyes. Yeah, that is true. So, um, I I don't know. I, I like... I like I like this particular one about having a blind, blind zombie, but blind can be blind. But, uh, I wasn't going to be. I wasn't going to be mean enough to have him actually walk over a ledge. <laughs> I, I would say he has some sort of sense. Fair enough. Although, well, do you I know will... what? In this case, you can't see where he's going. I've told him to go into the room. Exactly. Okay. So, go on. whatever he would you rule him falling down the steps as walking straight forward, or does he have enough yeah, intelligence? Yeah. In this to case, I'm going to say because you can't see where he's going. Because, I mean, you have some sort of control over them, you know, right? Yes. The, in this case, because you can't see, yeah, he would just walk forward. Excellent. So he will Lose half, fall down half the his, steps. Half his movement to get up, and then you could take another step if you want. Cool. Uh, and then... And, and funnily enough, he's now actually further than the rest. He could now double dash and get could, further than the He could dash, the yeah. I will just have him dash up to the rest of his compatriots. Okay. Uh, and then I shall move uh, 5, 10, 15 and survey the battlefield from here. What do I see, Mr. DM, sir? What can you do, see? Is anything else revealed if I am stood okay. in the doorway? I, I mean, this chamber is basically revealed. And I mean, you'd see a little bit further here, I guess. Is this a wall? Where? Where he is. This black bit? 
Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, it might be clipping that slightly. Does that make more sense now? Uh, yes. Yeah, so it's a wall. So he, yeah, he would have. He was the first one, so he can slip in on that side of the wall. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I can see the big bad beastie, and I yes. am terrified. So I am going to actually look at my spell list. No, don't make him raw. <laughs> uh, I am going to look at my spell list, and I am going to fucking measure oh that's too fucking far okay let's not look at that spell let's look at a different spell uh fuck none of my spells have got the range that one does fuck it okay i am going to uh pull out the crystal um that i use as my arcane focus uh, and I'm going to hold it out directly at the dragon and in a 30 foot cube which will go directly on top of him and stop before it hits my zombies uh, anything that is within this 30 foot cube must make a wisdom saving throw as I cast hypnotic <coughs> pattern Ooh. Ah. Okay, let me just bring up the spell. <laughs> Creates a twisting bear inside a 30 foot cube within range. So, yeah, you're easily within range. Range is 120 feet. Yep. Okay, so it's only for this moment. So, I have to make a wisdom save. A wisdom saving throw, or it is charmed and incapacitated with a speed of zero. Oh. Let's just make the roll first, then. Oh dear. Oh. Never fucking mind. Oh my. 22 for the listeners on the podcast. Oh yeah, that's a thing. Uh, I... Uh, yeah, so in what you would, what I would see, or what the listeners would see, and the viewers would see, and the zombies, except Plug, would see... Uh, are spectral images of this crystal appearing and disappearing in front of the dragon, attempting to distract it and uh, cause it to become charmed. However, they dissipate and the dragon just looks as angry as it did before. So I am going to step to... I'm going to step back to the left and go, Okay, it's pissed. And that's me. <laughs> Great, thanks. Okay, so it's <laughs> Step the forward, turn. annoy it, run away! So the dragon, it ducks its head, it gets to its feet, its wings furl outwards, it bows its head once again, gives another roar, and then thunders towards this wall. No! Oh, dead meat. <laughs> yeah. So it is going to lunge forward and try and bite this guy. Uh, that is the drunk pirate. This one. Or 20, you'll hit him. That's 14 points of damage and 6 acid damage. Oh, shit. Uh, drunk boy. What immunities do you have? <laughs> Not acid, probably. Uh, so it's 14 and then 6. So it takes 20 damage. Oh! It's alive! Oh, is it though, really? It's alive! Is it though? Yep. Te technically? Shut up! It's still undead! <laughs> it's not dead! Okay. 20 fucking damage. Jesus Christ on a meth bench. It is going to... Well, it's got that one in its teeth, so it's going to take a swipe at the one next to it with its claws. Uh, that is Villahelm. He is already mm -hmm. hurt. Oh! oh he's Oh, he's fucked. That's 26. Uh, that puts him down to zero. So, I'm going to make a constitution save for Zombie Villahelm because mm -hmm. of his undead <clears throat> fortitude ability. Nice. Mm -hmm. very good. So, I have to make a con save with a DC of 5 plus the damage taken. And if he succeeds, the zombie drops to one hit point instead of zero. Mm-hmm. That's a DC of 16. 
A DC of 16, and the constitution saving throw is a 16! <laughs> Zombie Villahelm has one hit point and is just as ugly. Okay. He is going to release the first from his teeth. And uh, seeing that, uh, let's make drunk boy blue. <laughs> I'm gonna okay. put a marker on him so I know which one's which. And after dropping him from his teeth, he's gonna swing around with his other claw. Oh dear God! And attempt to take his head off. Oh God! Four oh, will hit, which is which is this one? The blue one, yeah. Uh, blue I'm boy, wasting drunk all my boy. good rolls. Yeah. Uh, drunk boy will take 12 damage. I need to make a con save again because undead fortitude is every time rather than just once a turn. DC 17. Uh, the DC of 17 indeed. And he makes it with a oh constitution of 18. Nice. <laughs> Villahelm is still on his feet, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. I like to think that his head is hanging on like, like literally just by a piece of sinew. Yeah. Yeah. This is one hardy fucking zombie. It's like rolling around on his chest. Motherfucking zombies. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to end my turn there. That brings us to uh, Lanny. <laughs> Are you muted? Yes, I am. So that's 25 <laughs> movement to there. Um, mm -hmm. With Lanny's size and build, would I be able to jump down here and just cost five movement, or would that what would that cost me, if anything? Uh, yeah, just give me uh, give me enough legs. All right, acrobatics check, please. Yeah, because <laughs> it's it's two flights of stairs, so. Hey, 22. Yep, you're fine. That's all fucking do. You jump down, uh, land squarely on your 30, feet. 35, 40 for now. Surveying the area and ending a turn. Okay. So you're just using your movement in that turn? Yes. Do you want to use an action to do something? Like the dodge action? Or rush it? <laughs> yes. Let's use the dodge action as my action. Mm -hmm. Just in case. So the dodge action will give it disadvantage on hitting that you, and you get advantage. advantage on deck saves. I did not know that was a thing. How have I been playing this long and didn't know that was a thing? <laughs> as a rogue. Rules are to be over here. It's, it's yeah. a thing that not many people do. It's also like the... the uh, you can aid other Ooh. people, right? Yes, and give them advantage yeah, in, in, on yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. But aid aid is an is an action you can take in combat as well as just doubling yeah, up exactly. on a skill check yeah. type thing. Yeah. Something not many people do. Help. Oh, anyway, that brings us to you, Devi. To me, right? Uh, yep. So, I think yeah, I was going to do kind of the same as Lanny. I was going to, but I was going to jump down to here, um, mm -hmm. and hopefully. Yeah, so I'm hoping to use to come to here, and that would be 25 okay. feet of my movement. Would that be? I'm going to need a check because you're jumping down onto steps, which is uneven ground. So I will need an, uh, an acrobatics check. Okay. Please. Well, so first of all, then I will move him up to here. Zoink. Uh, and uh, it's 20. That's yep, perfect. So I get there, and I'm going to. Mm -hmm. Uh, pick up the bow and arrow. The bow and arrow? Yes. Okay. Um, as I said, the, arrow, uh, the bow itself is... As you're looking at him now, you can see he his skin and clothing and most of the equipment he had with him is, like, partially dissolved, it looks like. Mm. But the bow and um, the arrow were both yeah, fine. And the bow and the arrow look... Um, look fine. It does sting your hands a little bit when you touch them. Okay. Uh, the bow looks like a fairly standard bow, although it has been kind of like wrapped in this kind of like these like cloth strips, perhaps mm -hmm. for camouflage purposes. You're not quite sure. The arrow itself looks quite unusual. It has um, almost like a barbed 
uh, head. Yeah. And the shaft has like a spiral uh, form to it, like the actual wood. Okay. Has this kind of spiral shaft and this quite um, ornate feathering at the back. Right. It does not look like a standard arrow at all. Okay. Cool. Uh, so that was my movement. Oh, it is a longbow, by the way. It's a longbow. Okay, and that's that's yep. fine. I'm just going to pick it up. I'm not going to use it because I don't think I have proficiency with that. Uh, yeah, no, I don't. I think um, as a rogue, you automatically get short bow, but I don't think you get longbow. Yeah. Although that doesn't come up in my weapons list. I should have proficiency with receive with a short bow because that's a rogue thing. Um, so I'm not going to try and use it. Um, I'm just getting it out of the way. Um, and... Ah, right, okay, no, this is... I should have asked this before. Picking those up, is that an action? Or a bonus action? Um, I, th I think I'm going interacting... to say it's an action. Yeah, go on, what were you going to say? I was going to say, interacting with a single object is a free action, but anything after that would be an action. Okay. So the bow and the arrow technically would be two separate things, so free action and action. Uh, in that case, what I might do is just pick up the arrow, uh, and then I'm going to dash over to here. Because that this is a wall, isn't it? This, yeah, yeah, you're this black. definitely hidden there. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, and I can't do anything else. So, yeah, I'll yeah, just... yeah. He's he, he's right. If you were just dashing past and grabbing the arrow as you pass, that that you can do that. If okay. you want to stop and do multiple things with multiple yeah. multiple uh, objects, it takes an action. Yeah, no, because I can't use a longbow. It's pointless me picking it up. So yeah, just pick up the arrow and run over there. And uh, I'm gonna spend the time in between turns, like prepping that arrow with my short bow. Okay. Desmond. Uh, firstly, you haven't got Sandara in the uh, tunnel. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> uh -huh. but, oh I, can, uh, I completely forgot uh, about Sandara. Nice. And of course, I rolled really well. Um, oh, you know, she, she's, she's just not used to the whole attacking thing. She's probably just like, oh, well, but, oh never mind. I'll, I'll, I'll. You know what? <laughs> I'm, I, I don't care if I'm allowed to do this. I'm going to voluntarily push back my initiative to be after Des. That's fine. Fuck it. Because she would not have run in there. She would have waited for cues. Yeah. Torin hasn't gone in yet. If Des goes in, then she would follow. So she's basically just pushed back her... Oh, shit. Actually, what was it? Did it was we not 17, tell her to right? stay at the door last session? What? I don't think you told her to do anything. Yeah, we told her nothing. Shit. I think that was in our... <laughs> Yeah, I don't, that's between games. I personally don't want her to come into the room. I'll, I might have to tell her to run back up the stairs in a minute. That's fine. I, I, okay, uh, obviously it's my turn. So right, right. Yeah. Sandora, you stay here with Torin. Keep back. If we need you, we'll shout for you. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I need to open my character sheet anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what you're talking about, but all right. Yeah, sure. It, it, it's a cleric thing. Okay. Um. <laughs> hey, I'm one of them too. Apparently. Where the fuck is it? I completely forgot. But uh, Sandara right. was with you. Uh, we didn't. I do, I, we need a healer. I I do need to find her. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. That brings us to Sandara, and she is going to walk up to. I haven't taken my. Turn. Okay, sorry, sorry, you're right, sorry. I'm distracting myself. <laughs> uh, go on, Des. Right, so I've got, 30, I've got 30 feet up to here. Yeah. Uh, I From here, I'm going to see the beastie, but oh, 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 right then. I'm going to cast Hex upon the creature. Hex, Ooh. all right. I don't believe there's any save, it is literally just Hexed. It is Hexed. It's Hexed, yeah. I'm going to give it a uh, dis disability or a disadvantage on wisdom related saves it's it would be wisdom checks not saves well you know what i mean you know what I mean. you know you know what i mean Harry. you know what i mean 
Right, and with that, standing where I am, I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to fire off uh, El Eldritch Blast at it because I can do that from up here. Can't I? Do? Can't I do? I can see it. I've got a clear line of shot. Clear, clear line of shot. That's that's a sentence. Sorry, I was just looking at the. Um, El yeah. Okay, Eldritch Blast. Yeah, you can fire away. Eldritch Blast plus hex. So that is a 21 and a 15. Oof. The 21 will hit. Okay, so that is three points. Will not. Okay, three points of force and three points of necrotic. Okay. All right, so that is my bonus action and my action, and I'm going to uh, jump down the remaining 10. So I'm going to guess that's an acrobatics check. I think for you as a monk, it's uh, oh, yeah. ir irrelevant, and I don't think you could even roll low enough. <laughs> oh, I'm sure I could. But okay, that's fine. I shall, uh, I shall be stood here. And that is my turn. That brings us back to the top of the, the top of the round. Um, right, Sandara. No, I say Sandara. Sandara hasn't had her turn yet. <laughs> uh, now, yeah, now she takes her turn. Uh, she's just going to move up to Torin and... Was there anything she could do already? I think you've all... Oh, I'm she, just she's... no for the moment. She has uh, a shield of faith on me, doesn't she? Which is concentration. Just, just yeah, like exactly. You. Yep. Don't forget that. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> I'm not, trust me. <laughs> no, I, I hadn't forgotten. So. <laughs> I need to uh, remind myself that I have Hex up as well. That's the concentration. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to leave it at that. All right, Torrent. All right, seeing my friends all running in to the fray, I am going to look at my spell sheet and have every plan that I had completely go out the window because ah, fucking dragon. Um, but it has come closer, which means if I move to here, it is oh, it's still thirty-five away from me, so that limits some of the spells I can do. But it doesn't limit them all. So what I'm going to do is have a pull out the diamond uh, that I spent so long searching for. Yes. And hold it between my hands and then it begins to hover between them. Uh, and it will begin to spin very, very quickly. It will turn black, and a bolt of black lightning will shoot out as I cast Chromatic Orb at first level, with lightning damage selected. So... I shall roll, and it will be a 27 to hit. Well, that does hit. Very 19 good. lightning damage. Wow. That is hefty. That is hefty. It's a hefty amount of damage. So the the Eldritch Blast, I mean, it hit it, but it seemed to just bounce off the scales. Now this lightning crackles over it. You can see some of the moisture glistening on its back kind of evaporate as the uh, electrical energy crackles over its back. And that will... And then uh, I will sort of <laughs> look at it and go, Yes! Fuck, now it's looking at me, and I'm going to look. Go back behind the wall. Uh, and then the zombies. Oh, the zombies. Now, they're going to have some fun. So, uh, Mr. Plug is going to attack. He is blind, so disadvantage. Uh, he is going to attempt to slam it. And with a disadvantage, he rolled a six. <laughs> He punches the wall quite hard. Uh, zombie plug is very happy that he hit something. <laughs> uh, the one of the other zombies, pirate zombie, he is going to slam it with a roll of a fourteen. That misses. All righty then. Uh, the drunken zombie is going to also slam it after almost losing its head and with a roll of a 10 it will also miss yep and then zombie Villahelm 
who's been attacked by a giant spider and attacked by a dragon is not happy and he will attempt to slam and with a 22 that does it yes he hits him with four bludgeoning damage as he punches the dragon I want to punch the dragon in stores everywhere now from Troificus. Hey, hi. And that will be the zombie's turn. And they're about to get fucked. Mm. <laughs> so that's it for you, right? That is me indeed. Okay, I am going to... I think I'm just going to continue what I did before. So, uh, Blue Zombie, that's the Drunken Sailor, I think. Uh, blue Zombie is indeed Drunken Sailor. So he's going to swipe his claws at that one first attack is a nine a nine will miss and you lads off the armor swing back with his other claw fuck a me a ten will ten, miss ten, ten. <laughs> and with pure frustration he's going to lunge <laughs> forward and attempt to bite his head off a seventeen will hit with maximum That's damage. A total of 26 damage. <laughs> and even with a natural 20, he cannot pass the undead fortitude save, which means... He is literally, it literally lunges down, clamps its jaws over its head, and rips it off, and for a second you just see this headless body standing there before it collapses on the floor, and the dragon swipes its head to the side, spits out the head, which bounces off the wall. Uh, Wilhelm. And one of... No, that wasn't Will. Wilhelm, oh, that was the drunkard. Oh, okay. That's the drunkard sailor. That's the one that's... that you pulverized in the night. That sounds... That's... A... No, he means nothing Wordy. to me. <laughs> he meant nothing to me either. It's all right. <laughs> oh, Vienna. Uh, so... Oh, the drunken zombie. He is... Annihilated. So, oh, Lanny, that brings us to you. Okay... Lanny will see that the dragon has just taken out one of the zombies. Not too bothered, but he will start to rush forward. As he does, his eyes flicker red. He rages, rawr, roars. And oh. I would like to pass through the space essentially here to get here. Okay. That's okay. Oh, I'll uh, leave yeah. him there. I thought you'd replace him, but um, no, I will leave the body there. And. I would like to take a swing at the dragon with a rage and with a reckless attack. Oh my god, going reckless against a dragon. A 23. Oh. Oof. Will hit. 11 damage. Uh, I will then move further to Ooh, 10 feet. Yes. And I will take another swipe. For a 24. Yes. Will also hit. Another 12 damage. And okay. that will end my turn. Okay. Devi. Devi. It's me. Uh, cool. Hit you. Hit me. Hey, you, Devi. I'm going. <laughs> it's me, <a> Devi. <laughs> I'm going to move to... Oh, sorry. As yes? Rich is standing there, I'm just going to... Reveal the rest of the... Uh, oh, uh, right. Yes, of course. The room there. there we go. <laughs> like, I'm gonna, as Rich is standing there, I'm going to hit him with my tail. Look. Oh, that's a big room. A large room. Another one. Uh, yes, so I am going to move to... Oh, I'm going to raise my bow with the special arrow okay uh, ooh. and I am going to before I do anything the dragon has to make a deception at test against my insight insightful fighting on a dragon uh, he has to beat 23 oh ooh. shit uh, deception isn't it yeah deception is that wisdom Deception mm. is charisma. Yeah. Okay. Shame. I should have done charisma. I, I don't know that's if right. that's possible. Well, try. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Oh no. Okay, so that means no. That... It wouldn't even have been uh, possible. Okay. That well, that's good because that now means that every attack that I land on it, unless I have disadvantage, 
is a sneak attack. Okay. Regardless of whether I have advantage or not. So That's terrifying. I now attack with this special thing. Hopefully. Please hit. Ooh. 16? 16 will not hit. Oh, oh. Get, there goes that arrow. Well, shit. Uh, <laughs> um, I just you catch it as a reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Not a monk. <laughs> as you fire it, you see that it begins to spiral slightly, strangely in the air, and kind of blue tendrils are left behind as it flies through the cavern. You think you've made a good shot, but the dragon turns just as it reaches it, and it flies and hits the far side of the cavern. Okay. Yeah. So, um, with the with the blue tendrils, uh, can I see where it might have landed then? Yep. Can you see where I'm pinging? Yeah, I can see where you're pinging. Okay. Uh, I mean, it would be basically like in this in this corner. Up here. Okay. Well, shit, I ain't getting that back for any time soon. Uh, and with that, I'm just gonna go fuck's sake and move back here. <laughs> so, but it has uh, you you have basically marked it. So I'm just gonna add the symbol so we okay. hopefully don't forget. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Des. Yes. Desi, Desi, Desi. I've got like two or three things I could do, and I can't decide which ones to do. Um, <laughs> right. The dragon itself, is it like, obviously it's a young dragon, but is it is there clearance underneath it? Or is it like quite close to the floor? Um, if you like slid, maybe. Um, yeah. You couldn't walk underneath it. I wasn't, no, wasn't it's not that walking. big. No, I, I, I was I was considering a, a baseball slide. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I would allow it, but I'm going to say to pass through his square, it's going to get an attack of opportunity against you if you try sliding through. Oh, is it now? Okay. Yep. That, makes, that kind of makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I, could, I could just walk around, couldn't I? <laughs> Saunter. Yeah. If I go through the hole where the uh, zombie left and... I can, I can make it back. I, I, I can I can walk. It's fine. I'll, I'll saunter. All right, all right, dragon. You all right? How you doing? Yeah? Nice. Nice weather? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, uh, is that um, flanking? I would say yes, then you are flanking with this guy here. All righty. So, that would be Villa Hell. Yes. Punchy. First punch with advantage. Oh, 11. no. 11. <laughs> Miss, miss. No. All right. Second. Well, I think you 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 connect, but you realise it's got quite dense scales in places, yeah. and you just have not hit a, a, a spot which is particularly. That's fine. That's, uh, that's, that's fine. I'm, just, I'm just feeling it out. Okay, so that bit don't hit that bit. All right, look for something softer. All right, next one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, fucking An eleven, yeah. and look then a ten. A... Both with you advantage. You aim yep. for another uh, 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 soft-looking spot, but realise no, that that wrong place. Yeah, Episode that's fine. Seven all over again. Right. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so I've, I've, I think I, I think I've got the I've got I've got the measure measure of this now. So I'm going to burn a key point and go for a stunning strike. Yes. You, yes. Have you, strike hit it. you haven't hit it. No, I haven't hit it, have I? Of course, I haven't. No. Nope. Yes. Uh, in that oh, case, uh, I'm going to burn a key point and do flurry blows instead. Guys, aim for the taint. <laughs> <laughs> Punch the dragon in the taint. <laughs> Punch the dragon in the taint. That's going to be the title of my next uh, album. Yeah. Um, oh, I want to punch the dragon in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I want to punch the dragon in the taint. Okay. Um, flurry blows. There we go. With advantage. Then we will watch both of these whiff. Yeah, pretty much. 14 and 16. Both, I imagine both don't hit. No, both miss. So, sorry, 18. 18. 18. 18 will just hit. You okay. feel it connect. Right. So, fourth time lucky. So, that's 10 bludgeoning and one necrotic. Okay. See, guys, I told you. Yeah, all right, Lanny. All right. How do you even know where the tank was? Where it pooped from, innit? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and with that, I'm going to take the uh, the uh, advantages of this, and I'm going to disengage and move back ten feet. Uh, you still had ten left, yeah? Oh no, that's part of the drunken technique. 
Oh, you get 10 foot extra. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yep. I gain the benefits of disengage and plus 10 feet of speed this turn. Okay. Nice. Because drunken monks are so much fun. They are indeed. And that is my turn. Sandara. I think she's going to brave it. Ooh. Six. And I think she can, if she goes one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you better stay up there. Seven, eight, nine. Eight. Yeah, she's just going to run and get in behind you, Devi. Oh, it's an actual dragon. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. As she runs past, I'm like, Sandara, what the fuck? <laughs> she fucking sprints past me. Okay, that's her turn, though. Torrent? Uh repeating that. Sandara, what the fuck? And I'm going to look at the dragon again. Uh, I presume just in time to see Daz punch it in the taint and run away. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna very quizzically look at him. It's like, fuck it, don't care. Uh, and I am going to also notice that there is a dead zombie without a head. It's like, oh, shit. Then, then, as I'm trying to vamp while I hurriedly look at my spell list because shit, it's a dragon. Uh, I am going to actually click off the spell slots I've used and try and step forward one so it's now in my 30 foot range. So I'm going to raise my hand, point at the dragon. In Undercommon, I'm going to growl, remove its senses, and cast Blindness Deafness. Oh my. I am attempting, with a DC Constitution save of 16, to blind it. On save. Constitution yep. save of 16. Come on, you have to Rolo, you bastard, Rolo. Ooh. Oh, yes! Natural one. A natural one. <laughs> Blind. Can't have gotten any better than that. Amazing. So, um, fuck. Okay. Uh, it's blind. Its its eyes go milky white, and it's blind. Uh, let me check the fucking spell because Christ, I didn't think that would work. Uh, at the end of each of its turns, the target can make a constitution saving throw. Fuck, it's my, it's turn next. Yep. Yep. Oh, God. Oh, at the end of its turn, so... Yeah. At the end of its turn. I suppose it'll fucking save you for a turn, maybe. It so just, I'm it just gonna means it can't duck do back a whole lot. fucking wall. Yeah, good idea. Uh, and that's gonna be me, but then the zombies get to hit it. An advantage. Uh, Do they get advantage if it's blinded? Please, no, it just gets. Yeah. If it's blinded. Oh, actually, hang on. If I quickly check for the blind rules. I think they do get uh, advantage. Attacks against the creature have advantage. Yeah, there you go. Well, then. In that case. Boom, bang, a bang. Oh, pluggy boy! You get to hit at normal because you're not at disadvantage anymore. <laughs> so, it's your Buggy birthday. Boy's going to slam it. Oh, I'll still you. roll a natural <laughs> one. Wow, it, it like a twat. On both dice. On both oh, dice. Oh, yes. I <laughs> plug I her into I hope but, you die. Try. I mean, Pirate Zombie. He technically is dead. I wanted to die again. Yeah. He punched himself for that one. <laughs> Pirate zombie. Punch the dragon in the face. Oof. 22. Oh. Will hit. Well, two damage. Oh. <laughs> Villa <Dead> Helm. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Roll with advantage. And a 13. Will not hit. Will. Ah, that's zombies. This brings us to the dragon's turn. Eep. So, uh, sensing that the these 
undead creatures in front of it aren't really doing all that much damage and that the most dangerous thing is behind it its plan was to turn and attack just as it began to turn uh, you cast your spell on its torrent yeah. and its eyes did indeed turn milky white and Fuck it yes. was blinded <laughs> But you see it tilt its head almost like it's listening. Shit. <laughs> they got fucking tremor sense or something. Uh huh. It has oh, blind sight. Fuck. Oh, the blind fucking sight. blindness doesn't fucking work. It senses, it seems, your whereabouts. It turns, it lowers its head, it opens its mouth, it makes a strange. Oh clicking, choking sound. Uh oh. And a gust of liquid oh, foams out of its mouth in your direction. In a line, it is going to hit Lani and Dez. Right. Yeah. Check on sideways. Yeah. 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 Uh, you, I believe that you have... Fucking hell. I think you have uh, advantage on these, yes. Lani. Is it deck yeah. safe? So, you both need to make a dexterity saving throw of 14. If you fail, you take 39 <laughs> acid damage. Holy shit. If you succeed, you will only be taking 18. Oh. 21. Oh, God. That's pretty fucking good. Oh, oh that's oh, pretty oh, fucking oh, good. Oh, oh, oh. It's 21 and 25. Fucking hell. So you both save, and you both take yeah, 18 rolls. Oh, points shit. of damage. You rolled well when it counted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ow! 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 Uh, right. Uh, so, what's... yeah, you, you managed to duck enough out of the way to, uh. to uh, avoid the main blast, but it, you do feel as this liquid hits you, it begins to burn at your skin, and even your clothing starts to sizzle and smoke slightly. Uh, so how much damage is that? 18. Alright, so, uh, so so it's going to be a DC 19 concentration for me? Yep. Ugh. Uh, no, it's constant. Um, it's half the damage half. or Sorry, 10, it's 10. Whatever so, yeah. Oh, right, so we to be it's 10. It's actually 10, yeah. Okay. So, con... Never mind. That's a, that's a 5. I lose, I lose Hex. The curse of Hex continues. It never lasts more than one. No, hours. it's never. I've never been able to save it. I did go too, actually. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I got, I got some actually, but bonus damage. So, Lanny. So as the dragon breathes out acid upon Lanny, he <laughs> is literally going to spin and aim for the center of his mouth as it does it yeah. uh, with a maul attack. Um, and obviously, it's facing me, isn't it? So I wouldn't get advantage because of. Um, yep, it's now turned to face you. Again. But I will go reckless, so... 25 to hit. Will hit. 14 damage. Uh, and a second one, as it kind of recalls away, as it comes back down the side of the face. Uh, second hit. Oof. 27. Jesus Christ. Yikes. 14 damage. Okay. Oh, you brave shit on me, you... It's starting to look a little rough. Takes two hits on it. Um, and will move to here. So I don't break the thing, but I just move slightly up way. Okay. But that will end my turn. Devi? Devi. Me. It you. It you. Uh, shit. Oh, I can. Okay. Shit. If I, if I move to here, would I be flanking with Lanny? That's technically in its space, as ah, it okay. is a large creature. Shit. So I'm going to say there's not enough room for you to squeeze in. Uh, okay. Uh, but not here. You can get there, yeah. Would that's that, be, that's, that wouldn't yeah, be, it's. Um, I mean, it's. It's wings are kind of overflowing the 
it's um okay but it's 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 a in a 10 foot square basically okay but i wouldn't get advantage if i moved there i think you have advantage because of your um no it doesn't get advantage i don't get advantage advantage. oh you get sneak yeah yeah no you wouldn't get advantage but you'd have um okay if i don't get advantage then what i'm just gonna do no wait 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 it is it's blind it's it is blind oh okay it needs to make a save at the end of its turn well that's true what was it constitution Constitution 16 save Oof, it's still nice. technically blind. Yes. In that blind. case, my two attacks wouldn't have been reckless because I would have had advantage anyway. Mm. Blinded. Uh, so, in that case, I am going to run up uh, with my rape here. Yeah. Although I'm underneath this dude now. Uh, I will throw the dead zombie over there. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and Wait, I am going to... Uh, attempt to hit it with uh, advantage. A one and two. Ah, uh, that's better. I'll take the nineteen. The nineteen will hit. Excellent. Bye. Oh, wow. uh, another dice. Six piercing damage and eleven sneak attack damage. Okay. Or seventeen total. Um. And let's have a look. I think that's all. Uh, oh, ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, let me just have a look at this. Huh. I mean, I've got a bonus action, so I'm going to do it anyway. Whether it works or not, I don't know. But, uh, oh, no, I can't because that's not the weapon I'm using. Okay, no, forget about that. Yeah, no. No, I have to be wielding my Tidewater to Cutlass to cast Hydraulic Push, so I can't actually use it. Yeah, no, there's uh, there's nothing else I can do right now. So let me just see. Where I was, I was there, and I went to here. Okay. I'm going to uh, use my bonus action to disengage then, and I'm going to come back behind this wall. Okay. That's me done, thank you. (laughs) There's. There's. Sorry, I was on mute because I was blowing my nose. Uh, (laughs) Right, I'd like to. I would like to try and do some cool monk shit, please, Mr. DM. Oh, okay. Right. I would like to uh, rage. No, I wouldn't. That's that's a lesson. That's, that's not that's not cool monk shit. That's cool barbarian shit. Uh, I would like to move to here, and then I will shout to Lanny. Lanny, brace! I'm going up, Ooh. and I would like to use Lanny as a jumping board to leap vaulting onto the back board. of the yeah, yeah vaulting board to d- jump onto the back of the dragon. So you're going to run, jump. Basically, walk, uh, run up Lanny's back and attempt to jump onto the dragon. Yes. Uh, uh, and then do what? Is he trying to grapple it? Are you trying to just get onto it? What are you trying get to do? Get on it and then I'm going to start punching. From on board it. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. I'm, gonna, I'm, try. I'm, going to, I'm going to donkey punch the dragon into oblivion. Okay. But I want. I will want an acrobatics check to see if you can <laughs> land um, securely on it without falling off. And if you want to keep on riding it, it's going to be a check each turn to stay on it. Alrighty. Okay. Let's see. Acrobatics. Don't fuck me. 19. Nice. That'll do it. So I am on the back of the dragon. And so that is my movement. And now I'm going to punch it a lot in the back of the head. Um... So, first punch. Uh, do I get advantage from up here? It's blind. It's blind. So, yes. Of course it is, yeah. So, yes, I do. Uh, 15. It's going to miss. Oh. Yep. Oh, Second man. one. Oh, <laughs> 16. Oh, oh, oh. Miss. It's thrashing right. around wildly. It does not like you yep. on its back. Okay, burning another key point for flurry blows. Bam, bam, bam. 
22 and 15. The 22 will hit. That's five bludgeoning. That's fucking terrible. Second turn of the row. I've only got one hit out of four. Yeah, no, yeah, Eight hits. I've only got two, man. There you go. Five bludgeoning, and I'm on the back of a dragon. <laughs> Rather you than me. Fucking so. artwork. <laughs> <laughs> Rodeo donkey punching it in the back of the head. My yep. god, man. So Sandara will wait. <laughs> so I don't think Sandara will be like, oh god. I'm, I, she's basically just ready to heal anybody <laughs> if, uh, if, if they go down. She's also <laughs> terrified. Well, um, yes, of course. Um, so at the top of the round, though. Oh no. I think, Lani, oh, I think you terrifying. would notice it first. Oh no. The pool of light that you were stood in. Oh no. Blackens for a sec. Can you hear No! No. Oh no. Are you fucking joking? <gasps> with a thud, a second dragon lands. Oh, I'm in you. a bad place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a bad place. <laughs> yeah, it sees you uh, riding. <laughs> it's sibling. <laughs> up with no. Lanny directly in front of it. No. I'm just going to... No. No, no, no. No, no. No, thank you. One, two, three, wake up. One, two, three, wake up. One, two, three, wake up. <laughs> oh, no, I love this. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, you know, if you're oh, going to go shit. if you're gonna go out, then buy two black dragons is a pretty good way of going. So, Lanny, seeing you as its first target, it is going to begin attacking. Shit. Oh, joy. First attack with its claws. Is a 17. That will not hit. <laughs> My god. I'm just considering whether that's flanking, but it doesn't make any difference, would it? Mm. And you get flanking if, if one of the ones is blind. <laughs> I don't mm. know that. Well, it's more about him not yeah, paying he's, attention he's still to what's behind him. Yeah. Yeah, I, was still I would say, yeah, but though. again, neither of those hit, do they? But it was going to le lunge in uh, with its head. That way. Is it? Are we saying advantage or not? Uh, yeah, I was. Uh, yeah? Uh, because your back is turned to it, it's coming from oh, the opposite oh, direction. Oh, no. that's a crit. That's a crit. That's a, crit. That's a lot so, of dice. Yeah, that is going to be thirty-eight plus. That's well. Some of that's going to be half, though, isn't it? Because of um... piercing. So, uh, yeah, the, the normal damage it's it's twenty eight piercing reduced to fourteen. Yeah. And then it's going Four. to be fifteen acid damage. Eight. Twenty. Twenty. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Fifteen. Twenty nine. That is. Oh, that's geez. not. Oh scratch. my god! I'm not getting that, is... that twenty eight come up in my. No, it's a critical hit. Yeah. Oh, of so course, you get yeah. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm adding the the full dice again, yeah, and it was two d10. Yeah. So it would be 28 piercing damage, and yeah. the full d8, the acid is 15 acid damage. But of course, the 28 is is halved. Math. Okay. Yes. Sorry. No, no, DM. It's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> the math schools. is okay, but we are our feelings are hurt. Sorry. Uh, okay. Fuck me. Uh, Torrid will step forward expecting one dragon and then sees two. What the fuck? Sundara, stop blasting! Uh, and I'm going to. Uh, shit me. Yes, that's, that's correct. Oh my god. I think I'm going to shit me too. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to... Are they technically next to each other within five foot square, or no? No, Lanny's in the way. No, there's a gap in between, yeah. Okay. I know it's it's kind of hard to see because their wings are, are outside yeah. of the, the square. Yeah, so odd much. size. If you, if you look at the main... If you ignore the wings and just look at the, the main body... Yes. He, he is within a ten foot square. Uh, Mother of God. Okay. <laughs> this is a thing. <laughs> it certainly is. I was thinking, you know, like, oh, you know what? This isn't actually going too badly. You know, we, we you know, it's blind. We've got some good hits on it. I don't think this will go too badly. And then, of course, the DM read my mind and laughed. 
in that case, I'm going to pull out this diamond again, spin it between my hands, and I am going to blast the first one again. But I'm going to upcast my chromatic orb to level two. Mind the, mind the monk. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to throw chromatic orb at it at level two. A uh, ball of black lightning is going to fly. And I have advantage because it's blind. Mm hmm. So. Oh no! What the oh, fuck? Oh, a 13! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that fucking goes nowhere. <sighs> um. <laughs> Should okay. I duck it? Should I duck as it goes past? <laughs> um. Zombies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's hope well, the zombies one, do better. That one's gonna move in. Um. And they're still all attacking. So, Pluggy Boy, he's blind, but he has advantage. So, just the normal strike. Uh, Monsieur Plug, please punch the dragon! Zombie Plug for the win. Nope. You cunt! He missed. <laughs> That's Nate. Uh, uh, so, <laughs> Red Boy, Red Boy is Villahelm. Villahelm, please punch the dragon. He has advantage, so he shall roll. Come on, Captain and Wilhelm. He gets a 16? Nope. Will not hit. Oh, fucking miss! Okay, a oh, green zombie. He that's the pirate zombie. That was Villahelm's little mate. Yeah. That also got murdered on the dock. Normal pirate. Normal pirate zombie have advantage. Punch it in it, dick. Oh, oh you god. Fine. That two twos on advantage. That can't be right. What are the odds? Well uh not that high probably, to be honest. It's a one, one in four hundred chance. Yeah. yeah, that's not that's not really that bad, is it? Oh, Yes. Uh, that's uh, it's all terrible. Everything missed, and I am sad. And yes. I've shouted at Sandara, and now I'm going to hide again. <laughs> Try not to hyperventilate. <laughs> okay, the first creature, now obviously wounded, uh, Des, with you on its back, is going to start um, trying to reach up around and claw at you. To reach around. To reach around, that's gonna that's a natural one. Whoop. That'll do. Yep. Uh, you can, you second can swing attack. Also a miss. Oh, with a nine. Because it can't do much else, it is going to uh, lunge at you, Lanny, with its bite. Oh. Oh. Eighteen. Eighteen will hit. Yeah. Oh dear. So that's nine piercing and eight acid. I also forgot to roll my d6 to see if it oh, it's breath recharges, back. which it doesn't. Lanny, that does bring us to you. Uh, it makes gets to make a concentra- constitution save on my blindness again. Thank you very much. Has the turn order gone? Sorry, Go did I press the wrong button? Oh, there it is. Thank uh, you. It fails, so it's still blind. Still blind. Lanny. Uh... So Lanny is going to turn to the dragon behind him, a bit a bit anxious now that a second one has appeared, but still raging, so doesn't really take much notice of it. He I will, should. as a bonus action, will quickly chug one of his health potions. Where did you uh, get this one? This one is a normal health potion. You know what I yeah, where did you buy it? This one, I don't remember where I buy it. I've still got one in my inventory. This wasn't one of the... The, the potentially dodgy, one. dodgy ones. You don't know they're dodgy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm sure. We're, I'm sure we're rolling for no reason whatsoever every time we take. Them. Okay, uh, but this is one of the non ones. Yes, you, one of them, a you, regular healing potion. That they're, they're all regular healing potions. <laughs> Stop. Uh, <laughs> one of the ones yes. he didn't buy from Fuckwit from the shop. Yeah, yeah. That had a sale on. on. <laughs> is, is that the same okay, as the so I block? drink that. Four, six. E, e, e. So let's add down to there. I will. Uh, would it be a free action to shout something 
to Sandara. You can shout something, yeah, of course you can shout something. Um, so Lanny would shout, uh, Sandara, oh, I need a bit of help here. And with that, he's going to swing at the dragon in front of him. Um, still raging. Uh, fuck it, reckless. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, Christ. <laughs> going to miss. Second attack. Oh, 25. That will hit. 24. Uh, sorry, 14 damage. That was 14 a journey. Uh, <laughs> and that will end my turn. Okay. Devi. Okay. Uh, I'm. Well, there's two dragons in the room. One of them has taken a wailing. So I'm figuring rather than fight two dragons, just concentrate on the one. So uh, again, I'm going to pop around here. Um, and uh, stab, 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 stab away with Nahapie on. Oh, I'm not going to bother rolling the other one. That's a natural 20. Oh, oh, oh with, 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 is that with sneak as well? With sneak as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yes. Uh, I can't it's remember. It's not huge rolls. But you get to add 3d6 and 1d8 to that, which Please. is 18, 26 added to that. That's 32. That's 38. 38 damage to that is, not is that right? Yep. Yeah. That's a fucking huge roll. Tell me how you do it. Ooh. So, oh, um, shit. I, um, I quickly dart around the corner, duck under the wing, and with a deftness near before seen, I slip the rapier um, cunningly between the a couple of I, I spy a couple of ribs, and I sl slide it between his ribs and um, puncture the heart, and then whip it out. Um, and then I, hmm, yeah. So that happens, and it's just unceremoniously slumps to the floor and just stops moving. Yeah. Desi, you're riding this thing, you've, it's thrashing around, it doesn't like you on its back, and then suddenly you feel it spasm, and its, its head almost tips and looks up to the ceiling. It gives one last roar, at which point it collapses to the ground, and you almost slide off of it, onto your feet, next to this now dead dragon. Well done, brother! Excellent, and now I uh, turn and look at this one. I use my bonus action to force it to make a deception check against my insight which is oh shit it's only 11 this time where am I, where am I getting a natural one I get a natural one that'd be good or a 3 oh, or a 3 and I still beat it <laughs> natural one, but you still got it oh wait that's an athletics check it's okay I'm not going to change the roll okay. it's, it's bonus is less than that so it would have been uh... okay well, uh, right, roll athletics. I don't know. Yeah, I rolled a three. I'm not going to re-roll it. Okay, right. Uh, and as I've done that, I go, oh, all righty then. And I'll just slip back behind this wall. Uh, that Why is does my the turn. turn order keep uh, closing? No. It might have a so, keybind that you're accidentally hitting somewhere. Des. Oh. Back on solid ground. And back on solid ground. I mean, it worked well last time. Hmm. <laughs> Just jump from one to the other. <laughs> yeah, as as the first one is falling, I'm gonna jump. I can jump onto the ladder and jump on the next one. All right, go on. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need another acrobatics check, please. Yeah. Come on, then. Let's see, shall we? Let's let's let's. or we'll throw caution to the wind. <sighs> acrobatics. Oh, oh that's oh, a nine. nine. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Yeah, I'm afraid you you dismount from the dragon. You step onto Lanny. Unfortunately, just in that moment, he, he goes to step himself and you step upon uh, basically a moving target and you end up falling down to one side. I'm not going to... You're a monk. I'm not going to say you fall prone, but you do have to pick a, uh, a side left or the right from Lanny. We'll go on the right. Yep. Yep. All right. Uh, do I get my actions, both actions? Or was that the was that my action? For, no, I, I would have. That's part, was. I'm going to say that was just part of your movement. Okay. Uh, right. In that case, I will uh, step in and engage. 
Okay. Am I already in? Is 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 it? Okay. That's engagement. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. There we go. Right then. Let's see uh, how else badly I can punch the thing. Mm. Uh. Go on, bruv. Ooh. You oh, oh no! Yeah, Twenty. Oh. That is sixteen points of bludgeoning damage. Thank you very much. And max on the dice. Nice. Yep. Nice. So you step up squarely, slight duck, and uppercut it directly across the face. Very similar to some album artwork I saw recently. But, uh... So written, drawn by a very, very talented artist, I must say. <laughs> uh, right, that's my first attack. Uh, second. That's going to be a 13, which is going to miss, but I have hit it now. So I am going to burn a, a key and do... A stunning strike. Do do me a Constitution saving throw, DC fifteen, please and thank you. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch! Wow. <laughs> yeah, all right. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that. Uh, oh, hold on. Right, so I still got some movement left, haven't I? Yeah, yeah, of course. All right, I am going to move around, and <clears throat> having having seen what the previous dragon did, I'm now armed with knowledge of breath weapons, and I'm going to make sure that there is there is not two of us sitting next to each other. You do have another hit. No, I don't. You have two attacks normally. Yeah, and then I the use my bonus arts... I saw. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, he's a bonus. I mean, I can take it up if you want. Your bonus action was the stunning strike. What was your yes. bonus action? The yeah. stunning strike isn't a bonus yeah. action. It's, it's a not free a action. action. You oh. go on an attack. I yeah. know, I, guys, I know how to play my character, right? You know, that's, that's, yeah. How many episodes in are we? Look, it's only, only it's only episode 41. <laughs> All right? You know, come on. Fine. In that case, I will use my bonus action to use a flurry of blows and burn another key point. Why not? You will be one step closer to it as well. Uh, uh, 14 and 22. The 22 will hit. Oof. And that is 10 bludgeoning. Not bad. Had you got some damage on it. Woo! Nice. So Tandara is hearing your cries, Lanny. He's going to run round the corner. <laughs> Just in time to get hit by an acid. Head dragon, one life. Briefly <laughs> unsure of what to do. But she's going to sidestep. Reach up behind you. It's 1d8 plus d8 spell level, so a healing touch from behind. I'm here, Lanny! Oh. Fuck, that was not great! Oh! <laughs> Oh no! It's better than nothing. <laughs> uh, oh, thanks. It's double powerful against the barbarian. Oh, Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Where was she? One, two, three. She was here, right? Yeah. 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 Five more feet, I think. Yeah. Now seeing the zombie, uh, not the zombie. I mean, good on the girl. She's just pushed through these zombies, which she does hate to get to Lanny, but now looking up to see this dragon, terrified, she's going to kind of take a step back over the, the arse of this fallen dragon with her back against the wall uh -oh. with her last five foot of movement. No. <sighs> now the dragon's turn. No. Oh, dragon boy. Once again, you see its head lower. Oh. This clicking sound. Oh, get fucked. And this is going to be Lanny and Plug. Oh, it's a straight line, is it? Yeah. It's one straight line. It's not line. a cone, it's oh. a straight line. I thought it was a cone, okay. okay. Yeah, oh. different okay. dragons have different things. Yeah. It's a straight <laughs> line. I feel slightly better now because I thought Sendai was going get, to get it. Yeah. yeah. It's like, it's like a That's super That's why soaker. I moved it. I, it. I did feel a little bit mean putting her in position. For me to then to, yeah, disintegrate. <laughs> yeah, that felt a little unfair, so I've moved around the way, just in time, it would seem, as another spray of acidic saliva 
comes in your direction. Mm. Oh no! Shit. Oh my god! So twen uh, 27, hey. if you save. Um, it does not matter what plug does. <laughs> Roll anyway. Oh, fun. Uh, he's at disadvantage on dex checks because he's blind. Uh, so he gets a three. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Uh, I have a feeling he can't roll a 59 on a constitution saving throw. Plug is melted. It's plus 42 constitution, no? <laughs> Plug well, is uh, fucking melted. Wait, what does he have to roll? It's the, the damage plus 5 as a constitution save. Really? For his undead fortitude. Oh, shit. If he goes to zero hit points, he's allowed to roll an undead fortitude save. Yeah. Which is the amount of damage he took plus five. Okay, if yeah. If he fails, he dies. If he succeeds, he drops the one hit point instead. Yeah, yeah, but there's no way. That's no, gonna, there, yeah. there is, it is a mathematical impossibility. <laughs> okay, I will roll for mine. Oh, well, you know what? Can we just can we just tip? Oh, it? oh my no. god! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Um. Yeah, Lanny drops to the floor. Oh, shit. Does that take you past your maximum? Oh, no. no in way. the negative. No, 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 no way. Even close. Oh, thank fuck for that. <laughs> so, covered in this acidic mucus. Oh, shit. His skin now Holy red, fuck. black, barely recognizable. He drops to the floor. Oh, no. no. No, 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 no. No, no. Right. No. Torin. Christ on a bicycle. Okay. Um. Right. <laughs> this is a thing. This this changes a few things. Yeah. Um. Everything. Fucking move. Ooh. Or I can attempt to do a say. Or a check if I jump off. It's an acrobatics check if I want to jump off the ledge. Yep. Uh -huh. Okay. Um. All right. I'm gonna come forward, step through, see Lanny on the floor, Captain, <laughs> and I'm gonna jump down, God. making the acrobatics save or the acrobatics check. Please don't be Bambi on ice. It's a nine. You specifically asked. That's okay. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's just a drop. I think it, it would have been enough to be a five or less in this case. That's all right then. I will stumble as I land, but I'm now in a bit of a better position to. I'm just going to leave me there. Uh, I'm in a little bit of a better position. I am going to point at this uh, big scaly bastard. And I'm going to look at it uh, and say, Get off my captain, you fucking dirty beast! And I am going to clap my hands together and a 100-foot line of black lightning oh my. will fly at Mr. Lizard Boy as I cast Lightning Bolt. I'm making a save here, right? You are making a dexterity saving throw. To half mm. the damage? To half the, the damage. save first, yeah? Yeah, sure. Oh, no. You Sorry. passed with flying colours. Yes, I still take half. So. You still take half damage, so the lightning bolt will roll. 32 damage oh, reduced to well. 16. Bolt of black lightning flies at this bastard. Okay. Uh, and then uh, I'm gonna drop back against the wall. Uh, I just went, fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, my final two zombies are going to turn around and make their presence known. Uh, one will step up here, and the other will go one, two, and three, and step up here. Both of my zombies are going to punch it in the face. 
So, uh, pirate zombie. Pirate zombie is going to slam it. It's not an advantage for. No, it is an advantage for pirate zombie. Yep. Because he's across from Dez. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so, pirate zombie gets advantage. Pirate zombie rolls Oof. a 22 to Ooh. hit. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Pirate, Zombie. Zombie. Pirate Zombie goes for the Hammer Fist and hits it for five damage. And nice. then Villahelm, the very battered and bruised Villahelm, is going to attempt to slam it as well. He does not get advantage. And rolls an eight. Dang. So he fucking misses. Uh. Fuck me. Okay. That's that's me. And the Money. zombies. Uh, 1 20 death save. Oh no. Failure. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. I thought it was going to be a one then. Devi. Uh right. Okay. Okay. Uh, right. Mm. Right. First of all, I'm going to. Oh no! Wait! 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 No, let's not do that because that brings me in range of. Let's go to here. Okay, and yeah. So first of all, I'm going to move to here, and. I don't know if this even helps, actually, but I am going to cast Cure Wounds. It, it does help. help. It will bring that it up will to very it. much help. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Five. Does Lovely. That, what does that actually mean? Your he's up. He's up. He's up. He has five he's just... hit points. He's conscious. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So it doesn't go into negatives. It just no, 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 no negatives. Excellent. Yep. Episode 40. Episode 40. Yeah. Uh, Forty-one. Sorry. Uh, and then I am going to move. Yeah. And I'm going to say, "Stop laying down on the job, Captain. Hit the fucker." And I'm going to move over to here. Um. That is my movement, and that is an action. My bonus action I already used. You haven't used the bonus action this time? No, you haven't used bonus action yet. This no, time. but I already used my... Uh... Oh, wait, did it... It saved, didn't it? Yeah, so I'm going to try Insightful Fighting again against it. No, it, it, no, it, it failed. Have it failed. Fight <gasps> okay, in that case, I'm going to uh, How dash. How drunk are you? <laughs> I'm not drunk yet. I'm going to dash <laughs> over to here and pick up that and arrow. Fire. Dash as a bonus action. Yeah, that is my bonus okay. action. So I'm going over there to get the arrow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, as I said, just picking up a single item, you can do that. Yeah, cool. So I've picked up, picked that up. Okay. That's your turn? Yes, that's my turn. Des? All right, well, I, uh, I, I, I have advantage, don't I? Because I'm flanking. Yes, you are flanking with the pirate. Punchy, punchy, punchy. We've got some. We've got some. You about to say something there, DM? Yeah, I think the rule on flanking was you, you had to be coming from the, the other side. It wasn't looking. It's not just. And I shall move around. Okay, that'll be fine. <laughs> I'll allow that. I'll take that as flanking. Okay, I'm going to take Lanny's previous advice and punch it in the taint. Uh, <laughs> right. Advantage. Right. Uh, first failure, please. Oh, 20. 20 will hit. Eight bludgeoning damage. Second Eight. attack. Yep, eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. Second attack. Twenty-one. Oh. Also hit. Six bludgeoning damage. Mm -hmm. And for my final key point, uh, flurry of blows. Uh, advantage. Uh, Twenty and seventeen. Twenty will hit. Sorry, twenty-six and seventeen. Uh, that also hits. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, so six bludgeoning again. Mm hmm. Um, 
and I'm going to disengage and move over here. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to stay there because then. Okay, yeah, never mind. No, yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Sandara. Bang. <laughs> Seeing you rise, Lani, but still obviously her hurt, she's going to cast. Um, I think healing word. Nice. Dun, 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 dun. Healing word only affect one person. Yes. Okay. Yes, one living creature, but it's ranged, so she doesn't have to. Okay. Yeah. Get close to you. It's only that though. <laughs> it doubles my hit points, so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think she's you had a good round. Terrified, run back behind the corner. Much better than previously. Mm. Dragon's turn. So, seeing that Lanny went down and feeling multiple hits from the back, it's uh -huh. going to turn on you, Des. Shit, no. Hi. No, no, no. That's my brother. Quite Hello. Hello. 21. Will hit, yes. That's 11 points. Yep. Second attack. Oof. It's a natural it's a one. Natural, natural one and a two. Oh no, natural two. But it will Thanks. lunge forward with its head. Oh no, this is the bad one. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh my god. And, oh, this is... and an eight. You duck just in time and its nose slams against the rock surface of the cavern wall. Oh, yeah. Come on then, BC. Oh. I'll be dancing. Dancing backwards and forwards. Oh. Orin. Oh, I'm going to shit myself. <laughs> Please don't do that. IRL. Please don't do that either. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I have blasted it with the lightning bolt and it didn't like it. <laughs> and I. I'm going to fucking not do it again because people are in the way. So. Is that a K. Perry song? I blasted with lightning bolt and I didn't like it. <laughs> it didn't like it. Yeah. I liked it very much. <laughs> uh, I'm going to throw a chromatic orb level 2 at it. <laughs> uh, I don't have advantage on this throw though. Uh, so, chromatic orb level 2. Lightning damage. The normal roll. An 18? 18 does hit. I'll Ooh. hit it for 18 lightning damage. Nice. <laughs> Starting uh, to look rough. I'm gonna shout. Laddie, you good? Uh, and that will be me, and the zombies are gonna punch it in its dick! <laughs> <laughs> Gonna use its bollocks as a speed bag. <laughs> <laughs> Pirate zombie. What well, does it have advantage because Des is there? Yeah. Oh, so yeah. This angle, yeah. Beautiful it's, punch it's in its dick. In its dick. We're the twenty-one. Yep. Two whole points of damage. Yep. That's one testicle, well and truly punched. Uh, and the next one, I killed the wrong zombie. Uh, Mr. Plug, you're supposed to have zero hit points. Uh, Mr. Wilhelm, you're still alive on one. Is <laughs> Wilhelm still hanging on in there? I'm yeah, okay, he... guys. His fucking head is like, hanging by a bit of sinew, but he's still fucking there. Still trying to punch it in the dick. Absolutely. He's going for the <laughs> other testicle. And a 14 will miss. Yep. But one testicle has been well and truly slammed by a zombie. I'm not going to shit you in the head, Matrix. I'm going to shit you in the balls. <laughs> and that is... That is mine and the zombie's turns. That brings us to our captain, Honey. Hey. Go so... On, honey. If I were to stand up and leave it range, with it facing away from me, would it still get an attack of opportunity on me? Even though it believed I was on the floor. I don't think there's any... 
rules as written, yeah. it still gets the, the yeah. attack. Okay. Um, you can use an action to disengage, though. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I just wanted to do something <laughs> that I thought would be quite cool, but um, it doesn't matter. I'd still hit the fucker anyway. Wait. Uh, you're just standing up, right? I was on the floor. I was pro. Yeah. So I would stand up half my movement. And what I wanted to do is leave its area to here. Oh, right. I see. Rage and then fucking dash back oh, towards it. Oh, I see. Okay, right. No, um, I, I, it would get it would trigger a special ability, but it might uh, be worth disengaging so Sendara can do something to you from behind that wall. Nah, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it, no, Elrich. Um, <laughs> fuck it. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Uh, all right. <laughs> Lanny would just stand up, like, like oh, Jesus Christ, what the hell? With That's that, I just name again. Oh. <laughs> and he rages once again. Dropped before. Um, and is going to go hell for leather, reckless, rage. Come on. Come on. <gasps> 26 yes. to hit. Oh, so close. 15 damage. That will hit. Second attack. You can see it now kind of looking frantically. 25 to hit for another 16 damage. <laughs> whack! Whack! <laughs> that will hit. It is looking very injured you've just like crushed its hips it's turning now limping slightly and you can now see it kind of looking upwards to the to the hole from which it flew in nope it's hard it's hard to read a dragon but you think you might see fear in its eyes and even panic is that your turn lanny that will end my turn that brings us to you dev all right um yeah I move to here. Does that give me advantage? Because, yep, yep. And I am going to knock this special arrow. And one. Oh shit! That's a natural one. And uh, eight for fourteen. Fucking hell! Oh, nope. that misses, mate. Yeah, that misses. Oh, uh, okay. That's no, fine. I think uh, arrow is cursed. <laughs> The bowman extraordinaire, you are not, it, sir. Yeah, I know. It illuminates slightly this blue spiral tendrils as it wheezes across the cavern, but again, it just. Um, DM. Yeah. As it's flying my, in my direction. <laughs> oh, no fucking way. I think your ability works when you are would normally be hit Tacked. with an arrow. I know. Yeah. I'm just wondering if. In you the know, line of fire. Rule of, rule of cool and all that. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, Fuck but it's it. gonna be really it's gonna be a hard DC. Yeah? Uh, give me a sleight of hand twenty. DC twenty sleight of hand. If if you get that, I'll say you catch it. Alright, fuck it, why not? Oh, twelve. Oh, oh. That's a shame. <laughs> Worth a try. Yeah, 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 fuck it. Yeah, sure. Um, if I call it, that would be you know, really it, You know what I mean? Because it wasn't coming straight at you. Yeah. So I'm guess- it's somewhat above your head. You you tried to snatch it, but it was just outreach. I'm guessing throwing something to a comrade would be an action or bonus, right? Yes. Okay. I would do that. Or what do you want to throw? I wanted to pass the um, steadfast grapple to Lanny. Oh, I mean, he's right in front it's, of you. It's an action to give yeah, yeah. It's, it's, an item. It is an action, yeah. Like it's uh, an action to feed someone a potion. In that case, I can, will... Because also, yeah, you're, gonna, you're, that, you're actually going to have to retrieve from where it was on you. It's not like you had it in your yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah, that's right. In that case, all I'm going to do is I'm going to shout shout to Lanny, and then, like, because it's, it's, it's tied kind of at my pack on my back, I'm just going to gesture to, to the grapple. So I've seen it look up at the ceiling. I'm like, no, you fucking don't, son. So I'm going to okay. let him know that the grapple's there. Just so you know, Des, the arrow did land just beside you here. Okay. So is that your turn, Dev? That's my turn, yeah. Then I'll it brings us to Des. Des. So what, what are the rules of using a arrow as a melee weapon? As in literally just picking it up and jamming it into his head? 
guess it'd be the same as if it was a dagger, I suppose. I mean, uh, it's, an, it's an improvised, an improvised weapon. Yeah, improvised I was going to say you'd need like tavern brawler, wouldn't you, for that or something? It's well, you would you, you would not have it. your proficiency bonus, but you can still use it effectively as a normal unarmed strike, right. not a monk unarmed strike. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Really interesting. Does it, it doesn't give you right. disadvantage though, does it? No, no it's, it's not it's disadvantage. It's just, it's just, it's just no proficiency. You have no proficiency bonus with yeah. it. So what is it? Would it be just like a straight, straight twenty, uh, straight D twenty, and adds your strength because it's a normal, it's a normal attack. Okay. And you wouldn't have your proficiency bonus. Hmm. All right. So what what would you say that would be uh, in action economy wise, DM? You, so if you just want to grab it from the floor, that's a free action. As I said, just grabbing something quickly, that's a free yeah. action. And I you would technically have two attacks, right? Indeed, yes. So it will be literally straight D twenty plus one, because that's my. It's your strength. Yeah. Okay. That's not much of a margin for error, is it? No. But fortune does favour the brave. <sighs> okay, why not? Why not? Why not? Nineteen. Holy shit! Oh, oh. That hits. <laughs> I will oh. scoop up the arrow and jam it directly in its forehead. Oh. So it takes, well, an improvised weapon. I'm going to say it takes 1d4 plus your strength. Okay. So 1d4 plus 1. <laughs> Oops. So that's 4. And then as you jam this arrow under its chin, because it didn't fly through the air, it didn't get these tendrils, but the moment that it pierces, there's this burst of illumination, and you see almost the eyes of the dragon glow, and this blue glow illuminate from its slightly open mouth, and then this seems to spread almost internally through its body, Ooh. like lightning, crackling, all through its organs and over its bones. It takes some additional damage. Ooh. Now... I can make a constitution saving throw to half the damage. Would you like me to do that before or after you've made the damage roll? Yeah. Do it. Before? Yeah, do it before. Okay, so I get to make a DC. I'm not going to say. So I get to make... Yeah, it's, it's a DC 17 constitution saving throw. That's to heavy. half the damage. Oh! Which it fails, which means it takes the full damage. Which is 6d10. Holy oh, shit! What the yes. fuck? <laughs> this is an arrow of dragon slaying. That's what I yeah. thought it might be out of yeah. character. But yeah. My god! What type of damage is it? Uh, it's piercing damage. Dragon right. slaying. Yeah, <laughs> dragon damage. Alright, 6d10. <laughs> 33. Yes. Could have been better, could have been worse. Tell me how you do it. Oh, oh yes! <laughs> I, seeing the arrow fly across the room and hitting the wall behind me, I, I notice it, and it, 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 it's gleaming slightly, and a little a little whisper in my head that sounds very much like Bismarck goes, go on, have a go. <laughs> so I, I, I lean down, I reach down, I grab it, I look, and just as the as the... As the because the head would have been pulling back after it missed me. So as it's pulling back, I will literally just jam it between its eyes on the top of its head and watch as the, the fireworks go off. Yeah, you <sighs> see these lights. It's almost the tendrils similar to as it was flying through the room. You, you see that spiral through its body. It spasms violently <laughs> and drops with a thud to the floor. <laughs> oh! <sighs> Lanny's rage drops and he just sits to the floor. Oh, God. Well done, boys. Oh, that, that, uh, was hard work. As it, as, it oh. drops the, as it drops down, I am going to walk up its neck and stand on its back, and I am going to strike a pose. <laughs> I'll shout across the cabin, Eh, bruv, I do believe that is two dragons to the McRae family. Okay, you think you're all right, bruv? The McRae twins, dragon slayers extraordinaire. Okay. Holy fuck, boys. 
Uh, Sendara, could you have a look at Lanny, please, love? Holy yeah, shit, uh, Lanny. Let me Still just... Let me just think a second, also. because I could do... Who is actually hurt? Just I mean, me. I'm, I'm, quite, I'm quite hurt. Yeah, <laughs> my brother's yeah, hurt. I'm still, I'm still standing there for a bit. Uh, okay, I imagine it might, only, be, I, it might be better to do if, if you give me some time, I can, I can say a prayer that will heal both of you. All right. Yeah, yeah, fucking hell. Lanny, you look like a candle that was left in the sun for too long. And I will, at that point, actually drink uh, one of my potions anyway. And this is one of the the sales <laughs> top. No. Oh God. Okay, I need to. <laughs> I need to uh, open the document. Actually, just roll a d6. I think if it's not anything other than a one, it... you're fine. Okay. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, it works as... Just as a regular, regular potion? Yeah. Was it a... a, a just uh, a regular potion. It was regular. Yeah, not a greater one. Huh? No, no, no. Okay, yep. That would be another five. Oh, so Besmara begins. Is she muttering? Uh, no, not Besmara. Bes- 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 Besmara herself. I've, just, I've said that ascended. multiple times She's during this campaign. And Dara closes her eyes and uh, holds up her hands and begins muttering a prayer under her breath, uh, leaving you in this now completely silent cavern. Two dead dragons laying. Ark in hell. That was. Uh... Better start pulling some of these teeth out then. It's proof. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, can we take a head? Yeah, fuck take it. Two. Yeah, two. Yeah. We'll take both of them. Take both of them. Fuck it. Why not? Uh, uh, DM, I'm going to look around the cave. Is there a horde? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not going to take much um, searching because there's not really any hiding places here. Uh, you do find a small horde. There might be young ones. Yes. Shall I tell you what's in it? I mean, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can make it up. Get ready for tappy sounds, because I am drunk and I'm <laughs> typing. It's a small hoard. Are you going to take note of all this? Now, um, it's 700 copper pieces. Whoop, whoop. Wow. Uh-huh. Okay, love it. <laughs> 8,000 silver pieces. Ooh. What? Which is... And uh, eight, 1,800 in gold. Oh, okay, that's better. That's not insignificant. That is not insignificant at all. You also find a dragon horn comb inlaid with platinum. There is a fine leather saddle tooled with arcane runes. Mine! <laughs> a, uh, there is a scroll case made of jasper with ornate platinum. Fucking mine! <laughs> and there is a jet cup with a rosette of opal. Not mine. I mean, come on, their fisher is aesthetic at least. Actually, to be fair, it's it's black and mysterious. It's it's kind of my whole thing, isn't it? Yeah. So no swords, no big axes, hammers. No. It's it's, cards. A, it's a small. Oh. Um. I think I should probably say this in character. I mean, first of all, I'm actually going to go over to um, Matey Boy. Uh, Dark Wolf, the Shadow Hunter, Copeland. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to loot the fuck out of that bad boy. I'm going to take that <laughs> bow. Okay. Yeah, you can take the bow, but as I said, most of his other equipment is. Um, is fucked. Okay, no um, coin purses. Give like, me, give me a in. Oh god, what is it? Perception, investigation, investigation. Yeah, investigation. investigation. Yeah. Thirteen. Okay, uh, you don't find a coin purse, but you do find another small uh, bag, which is kind of almost. It's almost directly. On his in the small of his back, on the back of his belt, and has thus avoided most of the damage. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, and you recognise this. This is a Tanglefoot bag. Ooh. 
Okay, cool. Yeah. It's full. You know Thanks. what that is? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Awesome. Um, now, in character. Right. Uh, we could probably afford ourselves a little bit of a rest, but we've got to get back to town. So, uh, Torin, can you get the zombies to pull in out all the teeth? Uh, Lanny and... Wait, aren't we, aren't we keeping the heads intact? Because we want one, right? Yeah, I'm just going to cut this head off. Oh, aren't right, we just enough, cut yeah. both the heads off? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, but I want some of the teeth as well anyway, but... Yeah, uh, we can keep our saying. head. Yeah, could and you... And then we can deal with that later. Yeah, 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 that's fine. And uh, could you also set your zombies to uh, carving off some of that skin? Uh... You, you know they're zombies, right? Oh, they do the skinning. Oh, I've got anything. it. I want to get... Right, Lanny, uh, you, you took, you've had like two of those potions, haven't you? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm yeah. good. Good. Yeah, yeah, I was definitely asking for your, about your well-being. Can I have the uh, can I have the, the, um, the empty glasses, please? Yeah, no. Um, I put them in my, neck, my uh, necklace. I oh. didn't have the vials, I'm afraid. But I have... Hold, hold on, hold on. Uh, and Lanny reaches into a little pouch just on his hip and he pulls out actually two empty little vials that he has in his poisoner's kit. And he gives them to Des. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Yeah, so I will, I will get to carving off some skin and I'll be collecting some blood in the process. Can you give me a survival check? Ooh, just, just to see how well you uh, skin the first dragon. I mean, can I... 16. Yep, you do a decent enough job so that it comes off in basically one piece. The edge is a bit rough, but you do have quite a decent sized, um, I was going to say pelt, but you have like, you have a decent size uh, in terms of air, area. Yep. yep. I'd like to fill up the vials of blood as well. Okay. So you now have two vials of dragon blood? Black dragon blood. Black dragon blood. At this point, uh, send, I nearly fucking said Bismar again. Sandara yeah. finishes her prayer, and you both... Oh, awesome. You both get ten hit points back. Thank you very much. Sure. <clears throat> and in fact... She's just going to do that again. While... Um, while the... This is all happening, I will have cast... Uh, detect magic... Mm. As a ritual... So at the same 10 minute time that Sandara's taken, I will cast magic as a ritual. Okay. And see what is magical at all in this room. Okay. The the arrow that uh, Des used as a weapon um, was obviously magical in some way, and you can detect a little bit of residue, but it now seems to have lost uh, whatever... Um, Understandable power it once had. You do realise, though, that the bow that Devi picked up does seem to be magical. Okay. Uh, other than that, there is nothing new to you in this area. Um, what about inside the scroll case? No, if you look inside, the case itself seems to be empty. It's uh, very well made. It looks quite expensive, but it has no contents. Damn it! Did I retrieve the arrow? You, yeah, you can. Um, is that lighting up for Torin? No, I just said it. It has a little bit of residue, right? But it seems to have lost whatever it had. Okay, all right. Its purpose it, has it, been spent. Do you know what? I think I'm just going to keep the arrow anyway because that was something to remember. Uh, Dim, I would like yeah. to see if I can get if I can get some of the claws. Mm -hmm. the dragon. Yeah. Is that yeah, a I mean. Role? Uh, if, no, I mean, I think skinning is a, it takes a little bit of, little bit of skill, but just yeah. to rip out a claw, I mean, it's just brute, brute okay. force at uh, the end of the day. So yeah, you, you're going to get them out sooner or later. We're not un under any time pressure here. Also, is it possible to see if I could find the acid ducts? I was just about to say I was going to start looking for the acid glands. So if I could give you advantage on that, um, I'm going to... yeah, but I'm going to say. You're going to need some sort of check to find them. Yep. It would be... Uh, nature? Nature. Survival. Yeah, I guess. I'll take I'll take a nature check to... Yes. I'll assist you, bruv. Oh, cool. Well, actually, that's good, because that one was 10. 
Uh, and four. Ah. So Ooh. that's a ten. Yeah. So you spend some time looking at its mouth. You actually even cut open part of its. It's like it's. Uh, it's not. It's gullet. What's it called? Like under the chin, like uh, the waddle. Yeah. The wattle. The wattle. The wattle. Uh, uh, <laughs> I did you just watch that, actually. Yeah. So um, uh, no, you cut that open looking for it, and you find a lot of muscle and stuff, but not anything that you think might be a, a, a gland or any source of this uh, acidic yeah. liquid. While we're, while we're here, what's this, what do you reckon the chances are of either of these might have eaten something interesting? Ah. Fuck, it's, well. the, it's the toad looting all over again. <laughs> yes. You really want to cut these fucks open? Yeah. I, mean, I just want to... I mean, I feel all right, but I mean, you guys look like you need a, lap or a little bit of a rest. Uh, I'll, sleep on, I'll sleep in the car on the way home, all right? Yeah. Well, how often do you get the opportunity to cut open a dragon and see what's inside? I mean, inside? that's what I was thinking, to be I mean, fair. One of them have a boring. We saw it. We saw it taken. I don't see it here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good point. So, I don't want partially digested. Yeah, I don't want honest. dragon belly bacon. Yeah, but yeah, what, what if like it's like you know, you see, yeah, what if it's like swallowed a sword or something? That's magical. Well, if anything was like half decent, Torin would have known, right? Isn't that right, Torin? No. He would have got you, like you, a little you, glow from its belly or some shit. Would you though? I mean, I might have, but the dragons are. I, I I don't know dragon anatomy. I don't know whether it would block magic or right. Well, if you stop not want... the view or if bruv, if you and Lanny want to take a rest, and I'll slice his belly open. If anything pops out, I'll let you know. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'll slice I'm the bellies to... open. <laughs> I'm going to right. med- meditate for half an hour. Uh, I'm going to sit and have a short rest as well so I can get a spell slots back. Short rest yeah. sounds good. I don't need to so, do Devi, you <laughs> puncture the stomach and bring your knife to the side, and as it does so, uh, liquid spurts out at you. You take oh, six shit. points of acid damage. Oh, no! <laughs> Bastard. Uh, at which point the belly splits completely open, uh, empties its contents... Uh, and you end up having to take a step back as what looks like um, some recently eaten animal uh, flops out on the floor, to the floor with like this pool of steaming, sizzling liquid which flows behind it. Uh, and uh, you can see that its stomach is uh, just as acidic as its breath. Yeah. Well, nothing interesting though, just animals. At that point, though, Bes- mm. oh, fuck's sake, <laughs> Besmara's cleric, Sandara, <laughs> finishes her second prayer, and everybody, fuck me, gets <coughs> seven hit points back. Yeah. Pretty good. What do you mean by everybody? You pollute everybody. Then the zombies? No, uh, I think it has a limit, actually. Um, let me just check how many it is. I think it's six, actually. Yeah. So, so that would be yeah. all of you. I don't need anything. I don't think Torin needs anything, do you? You I just need took nothing, six. But... No, it's... That covers all of our party members. Basically. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's six. Oh, sorry, six living creatures. So the zombies uh, aren't affected. Right. That is the specification that I was looking for. Yeah. Mm hmm. I didn't. I don't know what spell it is, so I don't know what it targets. Uh, it's prayer, prayer of healing. healing. Yeah, I thought it was, but I don't want to presume. After a little while, I'd be like, I'll look at uh, my brother and Lanny. Be like, oh, are you fuckers ready to move? Because we've got a fucking date with a troll. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not for a day or so yet, is it? Yeah, it's not, not till tomorrow. Right? Yeah, but I think you lot need a, a rest Longer in a nice tomorrow, warm bed. It? You need a rest in a bed before we can. Uh... Yeah. Save it tomorrow, or it's the day after. I can't actually remember. It was the day after. It was three days away, and we spent overnight one night, so maybe two days. 
Well, I think we should just we should get back to civilization and then rest up. Yes, sir. Yeah, um, yeah. what about that? What about that? Uh, that door that we found earlier. I think we could come back another day for that at, lo at our leisure. Otherwise, we might end up in another fucking situation, which will uh, take us over our uh, our schedule. Yeah. Right. Fair. Yeah, I think we go back, we rest, go and fight this troll, and then and we can come we're back. Still up to it, or we're still just kidding, just to make we'll it clear. Come back. He said three days, and that was yesterday. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you left that evening. Mm -hmm. This is the basically the next day. So this two is more the days. second day of three days. Well, no. If if this if it's if, it, one if day it was first. Monday, yeah. If it was Monday, and I said come back in three days, mm. he, would that would mean Thursday. Oh, right, right. So okay. Today is now, now Tuesday. It's, today it's, now it's Tuesday. I know, but yeah. I think I think we should leave as soon as possible, and then if there are any additional delays. Then we got a little bit of uh, you know, we got a little little bit of room, a little bit of wiggle room. I think after that fight, we need to take as long as we need to before we feel up to moving. Do you what want to time sleep of here? the day would it be now? Well, you woke up, you had breakfast, you trekked for at least an hour to get here, and now you've spent some time in here. So it's it's barely midday. And you know, judging by the time it got here, if you were to make your way back to the car and head uh, back to the town, you're going to reach it by the by the end of the afternoon. Sounds alright to me. What do you want to do? I mean, I'm all for well, moving to back to town two, as soon as possible. They're the ones that took a beating. No, I mean, you know, there's nothing now else we can do here for a moment. Let's, let's get, the, get the heads back. We'll give one in as uh, proof that we've uh, dealt with the beastie. We'll keep the other one. But uh, show I, them both. Oh, I mean, they might want them. They might want to keep it. I mean, you know. Oh, no, no. I call yeah. it, we're putting a skull on the front of the ship, but we're that's not. That's pretty much what I was aiming at, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm thinking. But also, like, they might give us an extra bonus if we show them two skulls. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not, I'm we say that we've killed two and we've got proof of it. They might only want the one head for proof and pay us for killing two. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm bound for that. Let's load up. Let's load up the car. Let's fuck off back to civilization. Okay, uh, that sounds all right. I'll uh, uh, Devi, you want to grab grab the shit in the in the corner? Yeah, yeah. I'll go. Cash and those items. We'll just take them back to the ship and deal with it then. Yeah, of course. Uh, what do we and want to do about uh, emo boy? Fucking leave him. All right. He came here by himself. If he, was, if he was dumb enough to come after a dragon on his own, he's dumb enough to live in a cave for the rest of his death. Yeah, yeah, yeah Or, yeah. saying that though, Torin, you are down a zombie. I'm down too. And I think he had a... Uh... appreciation for all things dark and moody. I, I think he might... You might like the idea of being uh, turned into the living dead. I mean, Johnny, what? the problem with that is having the strength to do it. If you're not up to it, it's fine. We can just leave him here. Not a problem. I can't do it. He's mostly dissolved and... anyway. And hold control over these. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's all right. It was just an idea. Hey, hey. There'll be Takes plenty a certain of certain amount of power. Exactly. There'll be plenty of opportunity. Uh, plenty of opportunities to uh, replenish your uh, little gang. Are you? Uh, I will. Sorry, you wanted to keep this chainmail though. That's on them. Yes. Yeah. I need the ch I need the chainmail because that's expensive. Lanny will start pulling off limbs to try and get the chainmail off. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering if you'd remember that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm going to go over and start pulling it off as well, but I'm going to stop for a moment 
uh, and look at Plug's mangled, acidic body. Yeah, just Lanny's already moment. pulled his other arm off. I think we should all just like take a moment to look at that and be like, well, it's not quite the end you were after, yeah. was it, Pluggy boy? Yeah, see, Plug, you got melted, whereas my, me and, well, my friends brought me back. Yeah. yeah. I, wanna, it. I wanna take his skull. You can take his really? skull. I literally, yep. I like take my rapier and I slash his head off. Okay, there you go, bruv. I'll sort this out later. You want to take not... his head? I want to not... take his skull. I think it's quite thin. I mean, it's almost... It's halfway between being a head and a skull at this point, anyway. Because most <laughs> of the skin is gone. The eyes aren't there anymore. The eyes aren't there. <laughs> Half of the flesh has been dissolved. It's fucking disgusting to hold, but... Yeah. Um... <laughs> Have oh. I got a spell that helps with that? No, I've got the other one. Damn it. What's, what spell could possibly help that situation? Press the digitation. Press the digitation. Oh, just to clean it off. Yeah. yeah. You know what? I can't believe I actually got that name out. This 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 apple pie moonshine is fucking Moorish. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. yeah. you are leaving the cavern with all of your gathered goods. Lanny's got the two dragon heads. Yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty big. Um, Lanny, carry up to 12 hold, Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not saying they're too big, but they are they are very decently sized. Uh, you can have one in each arm, uh, certainly. Um, well, the two yeah. zombies can carry one together, make it easier. That's true. They have strength of something decent yeah and considering all of what you've picked up i mean you've got the skins as well all of the coinage and the items um and although there is a hole in the cavern here in the ceiling uh you're obviously gonna have to go back the way you came uh to exit this place whatever yeah. it may be so you're heading back outside yes uh okay. yes Okay, I'm just going to say, as you pass back through the room where this well, I'm going to call it a well, was situated, and this door with the unusual writing, I'm going to say, Torin. Yes. Just as you're leaving this chamber, you just feel like you, for a second you think you hear somebody whispering. And you, you get this kind of strange feeling that you're being watched. But you turn and look and you see nothing. And the feeling kind of fades. Uh, I'm going to cast Detect Magic with a spell slot. Okay. Anything within a 30 foot radius that's magical will give me a ping. Uh, and I said you were as you were leaving, so if you were here... I'm going to say no. Don't pick up anything. I I'm going to give myself a self-imposed wisdom save. Oh. It's to see if temptation gets the better of you or not. Yeah. Something oh, like that. Sake, don't do. Yeah. Oof. That was a. That was that was the two. Goodness. With a twenty-three, Torin would get a grip. Shake her head and think better of it, and continue. That was really hard for you, I could tell. With the zombies. <laughs> With a light on Zima, because else we'll be walking through the darkness. I will mm -hmm. continue forward. Okay. So you exit back into the light. And I assume you're just going to make your way back through the forest the way you came. Eventually finding your 
Horse and cart, where you left them. Are all the boar still in cart? Uh, yep. Everything is basically uh, how you left them. Wonderful. I mean, you've only been gone a few, uh, like three hours, say. Uh, three or four hours. The horses are still seem... Plug uh, is dead. <laughs> and so is yeah. that one. <laughs> and so past fine. Gunter Plug. Again. Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Finally. It's all right, I'll keep a little part of him with me at all times. <laughs> Alas, poor Pluggy, we knew him well. He was a cunt. <laughs> he was an absolute cunt. <laughs> what an utter He was a butt. duke! <laughs> so, we have a little bit of a logistical issue here. Ah. Uh-huh. You have a cart mm. absolutely heaped <laughs> with ore. Yeah. Um... You're not going to be fitting anything else in the back of that car. Let's chuck yeah, some boar off. Ball behind. Yeah. yeah. The boar can fucking go. The dragon heads are the much more important. I mean, though. there's only so much you can take without it spoiling anyway, so. Um, it's in nature. How much do you want to take? Should we keep two and dump the rest? Yeah. Yeah. Considering you've yeah. lost two zombies, you could quite comfortably take two boar with you. Mm. Wow, I did the logistic mass well. I was absolutely rat assed and it worked out. <laughs> I'm I don't mind telling you guys, I'm really drunk. Did it well. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I didn't realise it until I got up to close the door a second ago. Fuck. <laughs> Whew. Carry on. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> So, it is going to take you a few hours to get back. As you're travelling, Torin, yes. Sandara turns to you at some point and says, uh, what, what are we going to do when we get back to the town? What do you mean? With these two. Um... I will have to wait with them until dark and I'll take them through the town uh, quietly and back to the ship. Oh, you're just going to wait outside? I mean, bringing them through the daytime might not have been the best idea. I had a lot of funny looks uh, with me walking with four hooded figures. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised that you even... Well, if you walk with a purpose, generally people get the fuck out of your way. And if you scowl at them enough, they don't even pay attention anymore. Yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, they are... I mean, they're well covered at least, but... They... If you look closely, it's fairly obvious, but... Hmm. No, I, I, I... That's a good idea if you wait until dark, I think. Yeah. I need to... Right. I need to figure out a better way of disguising them. Maybe there's a magical way I can do it. A couple hmm. of spell ideas I have in mind. But I'd need to I'd need to practice with them and, and figure things out. Okay. And you're feeling okay, Lanny? You Yeah, I think I'm alright now. I uh I'm still a little bit groggy. Uh, I mean I don't feel too great but I think your time will be all right. Good night's sleep tonight, maybe. Uh, your skin looks all shiny, Lanny. Yeah. I get a bit of the hair off. A little bit. Exfoliated. Yeah. My tattoos are all still there, aren't they? Yeah, they're all still there. Don't worry. Okay. I do need to find someone to get some more, I think. I had this idea about kind of documenting our sort of adventures and I think two dragons be having their heads pummeled in and a, a, a magical arrow stuck through the forehead would look quite good I think that would be cool I think we saw one back in Goat's Head yeah well yeah. I've got to go there you might, someone must remind me yeah okay Andorra how are you feeling after all this I mean 
It was I'm a okay. Bit I mean, that, it was a bit. It was a lot, but I mean, I think I was able to step up when the time came for my assistance. Yeah, you performed you your duties go. admirably. I, you and, did very and, well. I mean, I, with heavy emphasis, uh, uh, emphasis on the word assistance, I, I think I just helped you guys out a little. I, that was all of all you. I mean, you helped me uh, a lot, Sadara. Don't put yourself down. Yeah. As far as we're concerned, love, if you're with us when these things go down, then it is your victory as well. Yeah, don't ever underestimate your contribution, Sandara. I mean, if it weren't for you, you know, situations like Lanny going down and my brother being a bit ropey, you know, I only had the one lot of healing in me. If uh, if anything else had happened, well, you know, if my brother had gone down mm. and I'd already wasted my uh, my little bit of talent, then... Who knows what would have happened if we if you weren't there? Yeah, that's true. But maybe I can maybe I can do more next time. I need to think about maybe doing some some damage and spells. I actually have one or two ideas that I think I'd like to try out. No, I, d I don't mind saying Sindara. I mean, cards on the table. I'm a pretty fucked up man. I'm I'm genuinely. I'm genuinely not very nice and I know it and I'm alright with it and if I look around at some of the people we've got on our crew a lot of them are under the same way and I, I have to say I think you you might be the heart of the Bloodweight crew you see her smile deeply and she locks her gaze with you and you can tell that your words have meant a lot to her in this moment. And she just says, thank you, Devi. I, I, I do my best. Well, everything you do is good enough for us, love. You truly are one of us. And I know that might not be very nice to hear, but, you know, I mean it from all the right places. Thank you, Devi. Yeah, I mean, in these situations, it is better to be on the inside pissing out than on the outside pissing in. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> Our brother has a way with words. It might not be the right way, but it's certainly a way. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to assume that was some... He meant to say something nice. Oh, it was no a compliment. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I... So, brother of mine, we have a very important decision. Yes. So, the thing is that when we introduce ourselves, do we say we are the Dragon Slayer twins, and McRae twins, or do we say, I am Des McRae, uh, Dragon Slayer, this is Dev McRae, Dragon Slayer, or, you know, how, how, how do we go about this, you reckon? See, I've been given this some thought, bruv. Um, I've got a... I've got a funny feeling we shouldn't probably be putting our, uh, our surname out there that much. True, very true. I might actually start going under a pseudonym. I'm, uh, I'm thinking, uh, yeah, I'm thinking of going under a pseudonym. I, I, I haven't, I haven't decided what that's going to be yet. But uh, we don't really go, don't really want to give Daddy Dearest to the heads up that we are out there. You know what yeah. I mean? Anyway, not until we're hell. close enough. We've got Captain no. Skullcrusher, we've got Miss Blackheart. Blackheart. Yeah. We well, might as well that... have you two with different names. Yeah, now that that fella's gone, one of you could take Dark, maybe. Uh, yeah, that, that, you know what, Lanny? That is a wonderful idea. I though. think I'll pass, though. Yeah. Yeah, I think that we will, uh, we will possibly consider something else. And uh, something just, something's just occurred to me. <laughs> 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 Oh so, wow! So, so which one should be Bimmy and which one should be Jimmy? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what the the, the original translation of, of Double Dragon. Which, dear viewers and listeners, is what our DM has just put into our Discord chat, which is the the, the original poster for Double Dragon. Wow! Oh, I love it. Double yep. Dragon. 
Yeah, I'm in, too young to get this reference. Oh, shut oh, up, man. Shut in, the, up. In, the, in the original localization of the NES version of Double Dragon, uh, instead, of, instead of being called Billy and Jimmy, uh, it was Bimmy and Jimmy. Wow. Because it was because it was the 80s, and no one cared about localization back then. Uh, I so wasn't yeah. alive in the 80s. Oh, shut up! <laughs> 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 You make me just... feel so old. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's my contribution to this. <laughs> You're a constant reminder of the entropic progress of time. Or something. Yes. <laughs> You're ever closer to death. Oh, aren't we all? I remember only having four channels on the television and having to wait until I got to a phone box to call my parents. No. Uh Sorry for the uh, distraction there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, don't apologise. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. So, uh, yeah. The the, uh, the the Dragon Slayer twins, or uh, just you know the dragons, the dragon twins. Some sort what of double about dragon? Dragon Spain. Uh, that sounds. It's a bit bit close to Dark Wolf, isn't it? It is a bit emo, isn't it? We'll right. think we'll, on we'll, it. We'll, we'll, we'll think. We'll on workshop it. it. We'll workshop it. I, I had, I had. Actually, I have an idea. I wasn't gonna say anything until we had a few more ships in the fleet, but uh, I quite fancy the surname Scarlet for myself. Interesting. Why? Goes with, go, well, I don't know. It goes with the whole blood theme, doesn't it? You know, I was, I've, I've got. I had, uh, I had, I had a dream, bruv. I had a dream oh. that when we all have our own ship on the fleet, and each one of us is a captain in our own right, I was thinking, calling my ship the Red Mist, and calling myself Captain Scarlet. Mm. I've just realised, out of character, well, that's a Jerry Anderson thing. That is, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but now I've said it, I'm running with it. So fuck da, da, you. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I, just, I literally just realised. Oh, I'm sure it's myself, the most of <laughs> naming myself after a puppet, but fuck it, I'm going with it. Yeah, I'm yeah, going who? with it. Who would be named after a puppet? Hey, that sounds ridiculous. <laughs> I'm doing Especially, it. Actually, as we're on this tangent, uh, the first time I ever ran this this adventure module, um, one of my players was called Kirky, and she actually ended up being the captain of the ship, so she was Captain Kirky. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Yeah, so I've... Uh... I've been thinking about it. You know, you know, I have a little penchant for the dramatic, bruv. Yes. So, uh, yeah, I've uh, I've been I've been thinking to the future, and I think uh, I think that one might stick. Oh, as long as as long as you don't go around thinking that you are indestructible, bruv. Oh no, not at all. No, I I know I am uh, about as weak as a wet paper bag when it comes to actual fighting, but you know. Get my wits about me and all that. Hopefully, I can avoid the old, uh, you know, the old spot of ultra violence. Yeah, that's what I look for. I mean, are, are, are we just sitting around talking here, or are we actually like traveling? Yeah, this back? is this. I imagine this is we're while on the you're car. traveling, like, yeah, you're on the yeah, car. Yeah. yeah. I'm on a car. I'm on a Um, <laughs> right, yeah. I mean, yeah, you know, Scarlet. It's not. It's not terrible. Yeah. Not yeah. Terrible. It's not bad. It's not bad. And uh, uh, Torin, I must say, I liked how you um, you commanded your uh, compatriots to uh, toll chock that dragon right horror show in the yarbles. Oh. I'm sorry. Come again? I'm oh, sorry. Did you just did, did you just have a stroke? <laughs> sorry, out of character. <laughs> I did just reference uh, Clockwork Orange. Yes, I thought you might have done, but. <laughs> Uh, I, I mean, I like that you had your zombies aiming for the balls. That was a. Uh, um, that was I art. Mean, that was art. That, that all the time. 
Yeah, we found that one out. Yeah, me and Lenny, straight for the tank. I mean, to be fair, I told them to attack, and they obviously saw you two going for the taint and the nutsack, and they followed suit. Yeah, yeah. It's so... A, it's a nice touch. Not for the dragon, yeah. obviously. I touch. Well, the dragon didn't fucking like it, mm. no. Bad touch. We, uh... We did good today. Oh, and none did. of us died. Well, I, lost a couple of, I lost a couple of zombies, but... I'd much rather lose them than you lot. I love you too, Toy. That is not what I said. That's not what she <laughs> said. So, after a few hours' travel, you eventually reach the outskirts of the town once again. So, Torin, are you uh, before we get to the hunter's lodge? Are you willing to, wanting to disembark here and just literally just wait? I will disembark with my with my two and I okay. will um, I will send I will, well, I will I will let the rest of them go off without me and I'll just say I'll uh, I'll head back to the ship when when night falls uh, I'll, uh, I'll I'll stay out of sight with with these two I'm actually probably going better, to stay with Torin we uh Oh, you staying with me, are you? Yeah, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll stay. I mean, I didn't get touched in the fight. If anything happens, you might need me around. Oh, are we not taking the the head straight straight to the uh, hunter's lodge or where it is? Me, me. Yes. Yeah. All right. So me, me and Lanny, the most level-headed and headed of everyone, will be um, dealing with that. No, nope. aren't, we, aren't we? Wait, wait, wait! Aren't we all stopping outside the hunter's lodge? That was the whole point. Well, yeah, no, I mean, I, I'm to... getting off with the zombies and letting you guys do whatever. Yeah, so I don't we're... want to walk them through while well, it's light. So so us and Sendara are going into the Hunter's Lodge and Torin's sitting outside and then when we've done our business I'm going to come back outside with Torin. Okay. 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 So, uh, well, you'd first get to the stables. Um, mm. All the Hunter's Lodge. They're not far away. It doesn't really matter. Um... Did anybody want to speak to the hunter, the hunt master specifically? I, mean, I, I, I would like to see his face. Yeah. When well, we, uh, I, I was just two I was, skulls on his floor. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I was just going to narrate this section. Yeah, carry on. <clears throat> okay, so um, you enter the hunter's lodge. Uh, there is a second fellow in there uh, today, as well as the hunt master that you met before. And yes, of course, he is very surprised to see you. Um, back relatively soon and of course carrying two uh dragon skulls um he inquires um about what happened and also about uh the, the rest of your group because he does remember seeing more of you <clears throat> and uh his friend is also quite interested his uh his friend does actually leave though at some point and it looks like he's rushing back uh to the town um, the 115 gold that you paid for the rent of the horse and cart, he refunds to you in full. Um, and basically before, says, so yeah, it was 150 sorry. gold, was that? 115. I think you you paid for like a, a like a holding fee, and then he was going to charge you five gold a day, but he gives yeah. you it back, saying that it's on the house, considering what you've just done. Excellent. As uh, as as his matey boy is legging it, and you know if I clock him doing so, I'm like, oi, mate. If you're uh, if you're heading back to town, to let people know that the scourge of the uh, the Black Fang has been defeated. Make sure you let them know it was the crew of the Bloodwake that did it. Yeah, Bloodwake. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I was just going to run back now. Uh, they won't believe this. Yeah. Also, we will be featured uh, in the arena in a few days. So uh, you know, you're fighting in the arena as well. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Why not? Bloody hell! What? Yeah. I've got to get. Oh, I gotta get a ticket. Um, <laughs> and he just turns around, uh, overloaded with uh, choice of his next actions, and runs back to the town. Um, the huntmaster congratulates you, um, and as if you've done everything you want to do there, you head back into the town. Devi, you are remaining with Torin. Yeah, I'm gonna stay with Torin because I don't need any rest i literally didn't get hit at all in that fight which was amazing so i'm gonna say you're gonna have to leave the 
boar at the lodge for the moment. Yeah. Yeah. If you're carrying the, uh, well, you can stay with the boar. Mm-hmm. So Tora, uh, Lani, Des, and Sandara will walk back now in the direction of the town, carrying two dragon skulls. By this time, Matey Boy has started to spread the word, and there are people expectantly waiting for you and they see you enter the town carrying these two skulls and there is pointing clapping there's even a little bit of cheering and as this sound kind of builds uh as you enter more and more people start to come and look what's going on windows open you see people walking around corners until eventually there's a small crowd of people cheering and clapping and wondering at not only these two dragon skulls but these Brave oh, adventurers oh, 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 we will not be walking in. silently through the streets, my friend. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. I mean, oh, as soon as I see, see people starting to no, take notice, I will elbow Lanny in the ribs and say, hold him up high, Lanny. Hold him high. We need to give these people a show. One in each arm, like, above his, above his shoulders, above his head, sort of thing, like. As we, as we walk, as we walk through the streets and the crowds begin to gather, I will be orating, uh, <laughs> at length. <laughs> Come one, come all, come and see the Dragon Slayers. The Black Fang is no more. The crew of the Blood Waker here, your saviors. We have defeated not one but two dragons who have been scourging in the countryside and your villages. And may I mention that we will be seen live in action at the arena in two days time where we'll be facing off against even more dangerous foes yes yes don't no need to thank us no need to thank us thank you very much everybody etc brilliant <laughs> as you do so you can you can pick up the odd bits of word and conversation from people there's things being said like oh well done and oh they fucking did it and then other people say oh there's two of them i didn't know those two and then eventually things like oh, they're fighting in the arena oh we're gonna have to go you want to go yeah fuck it let's go as well and such as you reach the main staircase which is going to bring you back down to the water level to your ship Uh, you turn the corner and um, you hear from go on (laughs) I was going to (laughs) say might not go straight back to the ship (laughs) okay where where did you want to go back to the arena briefly okay it doesn't matter at this point (laughs) where you're stood at the corner um you can now look down upon your ship and the other ships that are parked around this area of the town. And for blow, oh, from from below, you hear a very loud whistle. And you look oh. down, and on the sh- large galleon that you saw on the way in, that you saw uh, the name of which was the Pinion, you can see a man on the deck. He's holding up his hand and waving to you. He's wearing a large blue-gray coat, uh-huh. and you realise that it's Pegsworthy, nice. whistling huh. and waving up towards you. Pegsworthy, and that's where we'll end the session tonight. Hey! <laughs> and yes, up. Pegsworthy is indeed back. You did level up. Oh, fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you. Okay, that's the end of the session for tonight, guys. For anybody listening. Thanks very much for joining us. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks so much, everybody. And remember... Don't be a dick. Bye. 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 Bye.